Hello and welcome to Libertas News. It's Tuesday the 11th of June and my name is Mark Thomas. Given that the vast majority of the international tourists who arrive in Dubrovnik arrive via the Dubrovnik airport, the numbers of passengers who arrive this year is always a good source of information as to the number of tourists in the city. So the latest news direct from the airport is very positive, with the city's tourism industry in May, which saw 315,000 passengers pass through the Brovnik airport, a healthy increase of 8.1% compared with the same month from last year. And from the beginning of 2019 until the end of May, the airport experienced a massive 19.7% increase in passengers, with 643,000 passengers passing through the door. In total, this means an extra 106,000 passengers have used the airport so far this year. A truly impressive start to the year. And with the low-cost airline Ryanair now operating flights from Dublin and American Airlines adding a new route from Philadelphia to the city, the figures by the end of June should be even more positive. Dubrovnik is connected to around 70 international destinations this year, and there are strong hopes that more international airlines will extend their flight schedules into the winter months. The cultural and entertainment programme On the Streets of Our City, organised by the city of Dubrovnik, continues this week. The vocal groups Ragusa, Subreno, Efe Linja and Maestral will all have a concert this week. The schedule for this week as follows. On Wednesday the 12th of June, the vocal group Subreno will play on the stairs in front of the Dominican Monastery from 10.30pm. On Friday the 14th of June, the vocal group F.A. Linjo on the stairs in front of the Dominican Monastery from 10.30 p.m. And on Saturday the 15th of June, the vocal group Maestral will also perform on the stairs in front of the Dominican Monastery from 10.30. The future Pelishats Bridge is slowly but surely taking shape. The first stage of the construction, the installation of 148 permanent pilots, was finished a full 12 days ahead of schedule on the 11th of May. And now comes news that these pilots are being filled with concrete. In the longest and deepest bridge pilots, concrete is being pumped after the mud and sludge was removed. Concrete mixer trucks are arriving on site and then a ferry takes them to the site of the pilots where they are unloaded. We are now filling the first pilot group with reinforced concrete, commented the construction control manager of China Bridges and Roads. The concrete production plant of the Croatian Cooperative is on the Pelisat side of the construction plant. From now on, the plan is to fill two to three pilots a day. Songs and dances from Croatia tonight with a performance by the renowned Dubrovnik Ensemble Linjo. The show starts at 9.30 tonight in the Lazarity complex just east of the Old City. Classical music on the menu tonight as well with a performance by the Dubrovnik Symphony Orchestra. The concert entitled Sentimenti features chamber music and starts at 9 o'clock in the atmospheric Rector's Palace. A week of blazing hot sunshine in Dubrovnik as the summer arrives in full force. Tomorrow temperatures will reach 30 degrees and the humidity levels will be high. The Adriatic is a bath like 23 degrees. Basically ideal weather to hit one of the lovely Dubrovnik beaches. Situated to the east entrance to the old city of Dubrovnik, the Lazarity Complex in Dubrovnik played an extremely important role in the history and development of the city. It is a series of interconnected buildings that overlooks the old harbour of Dubrovnik. These buildings once housed Dubrovnik's quarantine facility. Constructed in 1377, the complex was built to the east of the city, as this was where travellers and traders would arrive with their goods. They were redesigned and took on their final design in the 17th century. This has been Libertas News from Dubrovnik. My name is Mark Thomas. Enjoy your Dubrovnik day.